I'm sorry to stare, Mr. Wheeler. You remind me so much of my husband. And your face is different, but... Your eyes and your voice, they seem so similar to his. If I could only admit that I'm your husband, Martin. God help me. Maybe I should. Bila, you know, I, I felt the same way when I first met Mrs. Wheeler. I thought she was my mother, Catherine, come back from the dead, but of course it's not possible. Right, right. Sheridan felt the same way with Mrs. Wheeler. Obviously, Mr. Wheeler isn't Papa. My head agrees with you, Mio. But my heart. Plart. Luis, uh, I have to tell you something. It's time for you to know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's my gun. Damn, Catherine took it. Father! This is where... Hey, hey, don't touch the gun. Anyone. I'll call 911. Father and Mrs. Wheelard. They're dead. No. This is Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. We need an ambulance over at the Crane Mansion ASAP. We've been gunshots. We have two people. Oh, my God. She's alive. Oh, thank goodness. Is she wounded? Uh, I don't uh, think so. Uh, Wait a minute. And all this blood. Oh my God, it's my father's. My, fa my father's dead. Oh my God. Alistair? What happened here? Who shot Alistair? Um, no, I we we heard a gunshot from the living room. We came to see what happened and, I, and found my wife and Mr. Crane on the floor. Well, who are you? They're the Wheelers. They're friends of the family from Mexico. It's like Mr. Wheeler said. We were all in the living room, and we heard a gunshot, and we came to investigate. His vitals are weak. I'm getting weaker, I hope. I'm Dr. Russell. This man has a bullet wound to the chest. He's lost a lot of blood. We're going to have to do emergency surgery if we're going to keep him from losing any more. We'll transport him to the hospital right away. No, we don't have time for that. We've got to remove the bullet and stop it from hemorrhaging our cells here. What? Could you get me a, a surgical field kit and a gurney that will be stable enough to do surgery on? Eve, let the old man die and hopefully suffer doing it. Julian, I hate Alistair as much as anyone. But I took an oath to save human life. Yes, even that monster's. Eve, just let him die. Just let the bastard die. Luis, no. Eve, you have to save him. Why? The man is pure evil. I know. He's done so many horrible things to us through the years. I want him to live, Julian. I, I want to understand why he is the way he is. To take the rest of the away from him. Our home, our jobs. And I know he had something to do with your father's disappearance. God help me, but there's a part of me that wishes Eve doesn't save him. I hope he dies too. Saving the trouble of killing him. I wonder what it was Mr. Wheeler was about to tell us. It seemed important. Well, regardless of whether Alistair lives or dies. I'll ask Mr. Wheeler what it was that he wanted to tell us. He still reminds me so much of Morton. <clears throat> um, we need to talk about what happened here uh, later. Yes, sir.
What did he say? It doesn't look good, but she's going to do everything she can to help father. You know, I'm amazed that he was so professional. Now I'd be tempted to let Alistair bleed to death. The way he treated my father and Ethan. Couldn't agree with Sam more. Heck, if I'd have known Mrs. Wheeler was okay, I doubt I would have even called 911. Speaking of Mrs. Wheeler, I need to find out what she was doing in a library alone with Alistair and why there was a gun. You think she shot Alistair intentionally? She doesn't even know my father. Even so, the man has been shot, and I need to figure out what happened and why. I wonder how father got shot. I think that's what Sam's about to find out. Here's what you say. You say that Alistair tried to rape you at gunpoint. You fought back, and the gun accidentally went off. Okay? Mrs. Wheeler, um, I need to talk to you a little bit about what happened in the library. Of course, yeah. Chief Bennett. How did uh, Alistair end up being shot? I, I don't want to alarm you, Mrs. Wheeler, but if Alistair dies as a result of his wounds, and depending on the circumstances of the shooting, this could become a murder investigation. It's not necessary to investigate anything, Chief Bennett. I can tell you exactly what happened. I shot Alistair Crane. Accidentally? No. I shot Alistair with every intention of killing him. Hold on. Uh, let me get this straight. You admit to deliberately shooting Alistair? I do, Chief Bennett. I just wish that I'd aimed better. I would have saved Dr. Russell from going to all this trouble. Excuse me, Chief Bennett, sir. Uh, could I please have a few moments alone with my wife? Yeah, of course. Thank you. We all hate Alistair for all the things he's done to us and the people we love. Mrs. Wheeler, I mean, that cold, still look in her eyes. I mean, how could she hate someone she doesn't know so intensely? It's like the woman has a history with Father, a reason to hate him enough to want him dead. How can that be? Father and Mrs. Wheeler just met tonight. Father! No, no, let Eve do her job. But Father! I know. This could be it. 